Bob, and this video we're going to do some more conspiracy theories. We're going to talk a little bit about aliens and UFOs. <laughs> Okay guys, welcome back. So aliens and UFOs, and this has been the biggest, probably one of the biggest, if not the biggest questions in modern, post, whatever you want to call it, uh, day civilization. Um, so I'm gonna give you my quick opinion. I believe aliens do exist. And it's not because I've seen one. It's not because I've seen a UFO. Uh, it's not because I chased them. It's not, I just think it's just law of nature. Uh, when you consider the vast size of the universe, uh, when you consider the massive amount of planets, stars, and many galaxies, very similar to our own, uh, I think it'd be pretty, and with all due respect to anyone who thinks otherwise, I think it would be fairly incompetent for anyone to think that we are the only ones existing in this massive universe that some even speculate is still growing. Now, with that said, UFOs are a different ball of wax. UFOs, I do believe, commonly are misinterpreted as a plane. A shooting star, a jet, maybe some secret government, you know, uh, flight test of a new, uh, new, uh, you know, product or a new plane or, or military weapon. So they go hand in hand, but in some ways they don't. Um, now, in terms of aliens, while I believe in them, I don't think we'll ever see them. And this is why. When you consider our sheer intelligence as humanoids, and let's face it, overall, we're a pretty retarded, dumb civilization in a whole. Yes, there are a couple of us geniuses mixed in there and some very bright and great people, people that can be respected, people that can be looked up to, people that can be considered role models. But as an overall collective, we really suck. Let's think, let's be honest here. So if I am a possibly higher intelligent being uh, that's surveying the galaxy, looking for other species to, you know, communicate with and build some sort of uh, universal community, why in God's name would I pick humans? I mean, we kill each other every day. For the most part, we're all very selfish and don't think about our neighbors or our friends. We're constantly at war. Did you know that the United States averages one, uh, averages a war almost every decade when you go back and look at it? That's a lot of fighting, and we're still fighting right now. Um, you have other countries that are kind of closed off to the rest of the world, like you know North Korea and, and China in some ways. I mean, China does trade, but outside of that, they're not very sociable. Um, it's just, it's, it, and is it a beautiful world overall? Yes. I mean, are there good people out there? Absolutely. And are there countries that as a, as a global community we can depend on? Yes. But overall, why would aliens want to commute? We don't even know how to take care of ourselves. You know, we don't know how to take care of ourselves. We don't know how to at least live in peace for a little while. Um, so I don't think they would have any interest because if they came down here, uh, we would probably, uh, get off on the wrong foot so to speak and they would probably be forced to shoot us with their photon rays and say goodbye to the human race so it's probably better that they don't come visit now in cases of ufos ufos are a little bit more interesting because there are many ufo cases that are interesting you know now i'm not talking about roswell we, you know we've been through roswell so many times and, and and that's interesting in and of itself but there are there are a couple and i i can't touch on them all right now i don't want to make this video 20 minutes long but one that i've always found very interesting is the phoenix lights the phoenix lights took place on march 13th 1997 and basically the reason i find this one interesting is because of the reason that the media and the government gave as to why so many people saw the same thing citywide hallucination a citywide hallucination Many people between Phoenix and Tucson saw the same thing because they all hallucinated at the exact same time. Right. So, the Phoenix Lights basically took place. What happened was a bunch of people reported that they saw a huge, what they could describe as a ship or something flying over the city that had a series of lights shaped in a triangle, made a very low humming noise, and moved at a pretty, pretty... A methodical pace across the city heading towards Tucson I believe it was and the next day a lot of people were pissed off because the mayor of uh, I think Phoenix or the governor or something like that of the, of the state uh, mocked and joked at about at the whole incident bringing an alien a man dressed up in an alien costume to the press conference embarrassing people only to only to admit sometime later after his run as mayor or governor I can't remember what he was uh, only to admit later that he did and did and indeed see the same incident and believed it was UFO. So, you know, overall, I think UFOs 
there are definitely cases out there that you could put into question that um are definitely legitimate and that could be extraterrestrial and linked to aliens and i think aliens exist just out of the natural law um have they been here there have been some interesting ab abduction cases but we'll get into that in another video but overall i think aliens definitely i think ufos definitely but to a very small extent i think i just think aliens we won't see in our lifetime i just don't think we're ready to i don't think as a society we're ready for that yet and i don't think that they are involved in our government i think that's something we'd probably be able to pick up on uh i don't rule it out i don't I, you know me i never like to say never but it's just an opinion but anyway those are my thoughts on aliens and ufos we'll talk some more about it sometime in the future especially abductions because there are some pretty interesting abduction cases but we'll just leave it here for now and i want to hear what you guys think and what you guys have to say take it easy hey guys welcome to entertainment talk nation i'm your host rob and this video we're going to do some more conspiracy theories we're going to talk a little bit about aliens and ufos <laughs> Okay, guys, welcome back. So, aliens and UFOs, and this has been the biggest, probably one of the biggest, if not the biggest, questions in modern, post, whatever you want to call it, uh, day civilization. Um, so, I'm going to give you my quick opinion. I believe aliens do exist, and it's not because I've seen one. It's not because I've seen a UFO. Uh, it's not because I chased them. It's not, I just think it's just law of nature. Uh, when you consider 